Today we're taking a look at our Hasselblad V to Hasselblad XCD DLX Stretch Macro Helicoid Adapter. This is a lens adapter that adapts a vintage Hasselblad V medium format lens to a modern Hasselblad medium format XCD mirrorless camera. But it's not just an adapter, it also has a built-in macro helicoid. You just rotate this ring built into the adapter to extend the lens mount up to 10 millimeters farther away from the sensor of your mirrorless camera. And by using this built-in macro helicoid to extend the lens, you're actually increasing the lens's minimum focusing distance, which means you can turn pretty much any adapted Hasselblad V lens into a close focusing lens, or even sometimes a macro lens. This adapter is made of durable, high-grade metal, and as you can see, it has a nice finish to it, so it'll fit right in with your professional photo gear. On the front here is where we mount the lens, and on the back is where we mount the camera. And then like I showed you in the middle here is our macro helicoid. You just turn this ring to extend the helicoid up to 10 millimeters. Also, this adapter has one extra feature. It has a built-in filter ring on the back. So you can actually add a 49 millimeter filter to the back of your adapter, which means you can mount a filter behind your lens. Now this adapter does not come with a 49 millimeter filter. You will have to provide that yourself. But yeah, basically you just take the 49 millimeter filter, slot it in the back here to mount it into the adapter. So you have rear lens and filtration. Now, how exactly do lens adapters work? How exactly am I able to adapt a vintage Hasselblad V medium format film lens to a modern Hasselblad XCD mirrorless medium format camera? And the answer is pretty simple. It's all down to focal flange distance. Now, vintage medium format cameras and lenses generally required a decent amount of space between where the lens mounted on the camera and where the film plane was, where the medium format piece of film was. And that was because Generally speaking, these cameras had mechanisms in them, such as mirrors that would flap up and down that required a lot of extra space. So these lenses were actually engineered to throw their image circle this far back, about this far. So the lenses had to be mounted this far from the film plane for the lens to focus to infinity. And now we add a modern mirrorless camera like this Hasselblad X1D2. It has a much shorter focal flange distance. It requires much less space between its lens and its sensor. And because we need this extra space to adapt this vintage lens to this camera, we have the space to mount an adapter. And because we have all this extra space to work with, we can add in extra features into our adapters, such as the macro helicoid in this DLX stretch adapter. Now this adapter is compatible with all Hasselblad V-mount lenses. So if you have a Hasselblad V lens, like this planar 80 millimeter f2.8 Hossi V, you can adapt it on this adapter and mount it on your XCD camera. But if you have a different type of lens you want to adapt to your XCD camera, we make DLX stretch adapters for those as well. And here's a list of the ones we currently offer. Now this is a fully manual adapter, which means it has no electronic communication pins on the front or back. So when you use this with a manual Hossi V lens, you will have to shoot fully manually. You will have to manually focus the lens, manually set the aperture, and you will have no electronic control over the lens with your Hasselblad XCD camera. And this also means you will have to set the electronic shutter in your XCD camera. You won't be able to use a leaf shutter in an adapted medium format lens. You won't have any control over the shutter, so you will have to use the built-in electronic shutter in your camera. If you have any questions about shooting fully manually with a Hossi XCD camera and lens, comment below. I'd love to help you out. Now, before we can use a Hasselblad V lens on an adapter, there are a couple things we have to set up on the lens, and let me show you how to do that. Hasselblad V lenses were designed to communicate with Hasselblad V cameras, and as you can see, currently the shutter inside the lens is closed. So if we want to adapt this lens and use it on our mirrorless camera, we need to open that shutter. And the way to do that is to adjust this little piece right here. Now we can use a Hasselblad tool, or if you don't have one of those, you can use a simple flathead screwdriver. You're simply going to place it in here and you're going to rotate it. And if we rotate it all the way, we should have locked open the shutter. As you can see, 
shutter is now open. So now we can adapt this lens to the camera and we can actually have the sensor see through it and we can use the shutter inside our digital camera rather than the shutter in this lens. Now, the other thing we have to do is turn on the depth of field preview on this lens and keep it on. Uh, so when we adjust the aperture, it's actually adjusting currently, no matter what I do, as I turn the aperture ring, the lens is staying wide open. This lens was designed to keep the leaf shutter wide open inside the lens until you took a shot and then it would close it down to whatever aperture you had it set to. But when we adapt this lens, we're gonna wanna set the aperture in real time. And the way we do that is we use this lever right here. This is the depth of field preview lever, and we're just going to engage it by sliding it this way and keeping it locked in place. As you can see now, I can adjust my aperture and it is opening and closing. Because I have the depth of field preview lever engaged, I can set the aperture to whatever I want and it's setting it right there. And that allows me to shoot with my mirrorless camera with this lens adapted to it and have the correct aperture. Let's start by mounting the lens on the adapter. First, you're gonna find the red mounting dot on your lens. You're gonna line it up with the red mounting dot on your adapter, press the lens into the adapter, and then rotate it to lock it to the adapter. And if you wanna remove the lens from the adapter, that's pretty simple. You're just gonna find this little silver lever here. Now it looks like a lever, but it's actually a button. You're gonna press it down and then rotate the lens to remove it from the adapter. And we get a lot of questions about the play in our adapters, uh, the play between the adapted lens and adapter. So I'll show you right now, I'm rotating the lens and adapter independently. You can hear a slight clicking noise, but as you can see, the lens is not moving very much and it's pretty firmly in place. So this adapter has a fairly tight play to it. Okay, now let's mount the lens and adapter onto our Hasselblad XTD camera. We're just gonna line up the red mounting dot on the adapter with the red mounting dot on the camera, place the adapter into the camera and rotate it to lock it into place. And if we wanna remove the adapter lens from the camera, you remove it just like a normal Hasselblad XCD lens, push the lens release button on the camera and rotate it to remove it. And we showed you the lens to adapter play. Here is the adapter to camera play. I'm rotating the adapter and camera independently you can hear a little clicking sound, but as you can see, there's very little rotation. So yeah, that's firmly in place. It's a fairly firm fit. Now, before we can use a manual adapted lens on an XCD camera, there is one setting we have to set in the menu. And let me show you that now. To get our Hasselblad XCD to work with an adapted lens, we have to go to menu. Then we have to go to the exposure sub menu and then turn electronic shutter on. Once electronic shutter is on, we can now use the electronic shutter built into the Hasselblad XCD camera, and we don't have to rely on the camera looking for an electronic shutter in an XCD electronic lens. So basically by turning on the electronic shutter, we can use any manual adapted lens. Now all of our DLX stretch adapters have three different modes. The first mode is just as a standard adapter. If you leave the adapter exactly like this, it works just like any normal adapter. You can focus your medium format lens to infinity. You can shoot manually. It just works like a regular standard adapter. The second mode is the macro helicoid, like I showed earlier. This is a ring on the adapter that you actually rotate to extend the adapted lens farther away from the sensor of your digital camera. You can extend it up to 10 millimeters farther away from the sensor. And by doing this, we are causing the lens to no longer focus to infinity. So when you extend the macro helicoid, we can no longer do say a group photo or a landscape, it'll all be blurry. But by extending the lens, we've actually increased its minimum focus distance. It can no longer focus far away, but it can now focus closer up. And this macro helicoid functionality is actually really useful, especially for a lot of older adapted lenses. As you can see here, the best minimum focus we can get with this lens is three feet. So this is a fine lens for portrait photography, landscape photography, uh, but it's not great for close-up photography. But when we add in the 10 millimeters of macro helicoid to this lens, we're increasing the lens's minimum focus closer to one foot. You can actually see this in action in these demo photos I shot of flowers. 
Uh, the first photo is the minimum focus, the three foot focus. And you know, we're not really getting a great flower shot here. The flower is pretty far away from the lens. It's not a great close up or detailed shot. But then in the second photo, we're actually adding in the 10 millimeters of macro helicoid. Now we can focus much closer on the flower. We can get a much better close focus detailed image. So basically by using our DLX stretch adapters, you can turn any adapted lens into a closer focus lens. And in many cases, you can even turn it into a macro focus lens. Now, because this is increasing the minimum focus to only one foot, I wouldn't go so far as to say this adapter has turned this lens into a macro lens, but it's definitely turned it into a closer focus lens for more close focus style photos. Now, if you're a more technical person, let's look at a macro calculator to see exactly what this adapter is doing with this lens. To show how our DLX stretch adapter affects the magnification of an adapted lens, we're going to use this handy extension tube calculator I found online. If you'd like to use this calculator yourself, just click the link in the description below this video. Okay, I looked it up online and this Hasi 80 millimeter lens we're using has a native magnification of O. 0.11. Of course, it's an 80 millimeter lens. We can put that in there. And then the DLX stretch adapter is giving us a 10 millimeter extension amount. So when we hit calculate, we're going to wind up with a new magnification of 0.24x and a new closest focusing distance of 519.2 millimeters. That works out to 1.7 feet. So with our DLX stretch adapter, we've turned this lens from a standard non-close focusing lens to a close focusing lens. Like I said a little bit ago, this adapter has three modes. The first mode is just a standard adapter. The second mode is as a macro adapter by adding in that macro helicoid adjustment. But there is a third mode, like I showed earlier, this adapter has a built-in 49 millimeter filter thread in the rear. And that means we can add a 49 millimeter filter. This is an ND1000 filter. We just drop it into the rear of the adapter. We just rotate it to thread it into place, lock it into the back of the adapter. Oftentimes it's really useful to have a rear mounted filter. Uh, let's say you're using a number of different types of Hasselblad V lenses with this adapter. And let's say they all have different filter threads on the front. If you wanna put filters on each Hasselblad V lens, you're either gonna to have to get different size filters for each one, or you're gonna to have to get step up or step down rings to use one larger filter on all the different uh, lenses you're gonna be adapting that day. And that can be pretty complicated, but with this adapter, we just have one filter built into the back. We can just mount the filter we want back there, and then we can swap the different lenses and we have that filter built right into the adapter. So not only does this function as a standard adapter, it also functions as a close focus slash macro adapter and as a rear mounted filter adapter. So yeah, the DLX stretch line is a very versatile line. And if you're looking for an adapter that does a little bit of everything, I would definitely recommend checking these out. Okay, that was a quick look at our Hasselblad V to Hasselblad XCD DLX Stretch Macro Helicoid Adapter. If you'd like to learn more about this adapter, click the link in the description below. It'll take you to a page where you can learn more about it and maybe buy one for yourself. And we also have a link in the description below to all the other types of DLX stretch adapters we make for Hasselblad XCD cameras. So if you don't want to adapt a Hasselblad V lens, we've got other options down there as well. If you have any questions about anything I said in today's video, comment below, I'd love to help you out. Let me know what you think about this adapter or if there's something else that you're looking for, a different kind of adapter, I would love to help you out, so comment below. Also, click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with photodeox.com and have fun with macro helicoid adapters.